Well, I'm working late, cause I'm a singer. You guys have heard Please Is Please and you've heard Espresso, but no one's heard anything else, so we're gonna sing a song from the album. Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. We're seeing Sabrina Carpenter at the Grammy Museum, and I am fully packed and ready to sit outside all day. Hey vlog! You can't look worse than me. Um, we are in line at the Grammy Museum. This is the line right now. There's like 11 people or something, including me. And it's like seven o'clock in the morning. Seven in the morning, 7.30. We're here, we're ready. Um, and Sabrina Carpenter is probably gonna fall in love with me today. So, Barry Keoghan, watch out. Hey vlog, <laughs> we're outside of the Grammy Museum. This is where we're at right now in life. I'm kind of terrified. Um, he was like right in my face, but it's okay guys. Everything's gonna be fine. Hey vlog, the news is here. Very interesting. I also have Chick-fil-A now, love homophobic chicken. Um, and it's like 8.30, so we still have eight kajillion more hours of this, but it's okay. Outfit coming, it's gonna be amazing, don't worry. And if I'm on the news, I'll make sure to vlog it. I hope they interview me, but I feel like my shirt is inappropriate, but. So I changed, cause it was like just too hot to be in the sweatpants. I have my Peppa Pig umbrella, and the entire line has umbrellas. Like we are serving. And the museum opens in like 30 minutes, so we're gonna go in there, cause it's hot as balls. You guys don't understand, I'm dripping. I really, I really hope you understand what I'm going through. And if you don't, you should just feel really bad for me and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hey vlog! So I'm all ready for tonight and we're in the Grammy Museum. Hey vlog. Brandon's here. I know. Hi. Introduce yourself to the vlog. I don't think I'm you've been Nikki. in it. Hello. <laughs> Reed Brandon character. Right. <laughs> wow. My queen. Guys, the best part of the Grammy Museum is right before you piss, you get to see this beauty. Like, bathroom, this beauty. <laughs> Guys, he's working it out on the remix. Can you compete? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna guess the color of my underwear? I'm Chapel Rowan. I'm your favorite artist favorite artist. I'm your dream girl's dream girl. <laughs> and I'm gonna serve exactly oh, what you are. God. Won the solo I got one day, one day. I'll Spider -Man you ice Spider Man ice cream. Spider Man ice cream. Guys, it's cooled down. It's beautiful out. I've got a Coke. Life is great. And Sabrina has entered the building, so she is here. Queen Brina's here. here. And I think after this, we're gonna go see her billboard. So the vlog is just gonna get. Oh, I look really good in this lighting. Right. Okay. Oh my goodness. Hey vlog. Okay, so literally the first like three rows were taken. So this is where I'm sitting, and this is where Sabrina will be. It's literally. But the thing is, she's gonna come in right here. So I could, in fact, like be like, hey, queen. Um, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, the first like two, three rows were taken, so. You have to, you have to. Okay. Hello. Hello. I, I think what was so exciting for me about my last album, Emos I Can't Send, was it was such a slow burn of getting to this place where I like ripped off every single Band-Aid and I just was like, you know, what, what, what is there to be afraid of when it comes to like telling the truth? Because the truth is just the truth. And um, I think that opened up a lot of doors for me, that album to go into this one with just no limitations and also just a very clear, direct vision of, of what I wanted to make. Also, I think what was really special about the last tour was I ended up, you know, some of these songs became so special to the audiences that I was singing them for 
and they became even more special to me and it just gave me like a little bit more like what if i just like I actually like, tried this, but like a little bit more like this. And this was, this was probably 2022, but then afterwards people were like, oh, Sabrina Carpenter's the show. And I was like, no way. I'm such a fan. I thought that was so cool. But I posted you on my stories and you didn't respond. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, you weren't super active at that point. You hadn't posted in a long time. Yeah, I go through phases because um, people are... I, would, I didn't message him. I just posted a story from the show. And I remember tagging him, and I, and, I, and he didn't respond. I was like, oh, he's elusive. But he didn't even see it. I saw it. No. <laughs> it didn't say you did. We're trying to protect so. you here, Jack. But so the real then, story, the real story. So, so you're at the show, and I'm, like, really chuffed about it. I'm like, that's so cool. Cut to. Proceed. We, um, I'm on a date in New York, and I end up at this like random comedy, I don't go on dates either really, so it's very random, and, and I end up at this comedy club. After party for a comedy show. After party for a comedy show, I wasn't invited to the comedy you show. To the show, I just ended up Me there. and my sister went to the comedy show, okay. and then we go to this bar. This doesn't really matter, but you came outside. And there you are. And then you were there, and then you said to me, you were like, oh my gosh, like I'm such a fan of you, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh my god, thank I'm you. I'm like naming songs, they don't fuck with me. I was like, no, you did. You named some deep cuts as well, and so I was like, wow, that's really sweet. And I was not anticipating this, and I'm like, kind of like not paying attention to the date. And I was just like, this is so much cooler. Is there a song that you're scared, nervous, or excited for your fans to hear? All of them, but I would say sharpest tool. I'm scared. <laughs> I think I think there's a song called Sharpest Tool. Um. Like in your kitchen? <laughs> I'm not even saying that. I'm not even saying that in a way. It's like just throwing something out there. Like I actually mean like, kitchens feel so safe to me, and kitchens are so nice to be with your friends in the kitchen and <laughs> playing music off a speaker or off. I think off a speaker. Like you could do it off the phone, but I'll be sad. You know what I mean? Like it's just a different experience when you're like. <laughs> I think. I think. Um, yeah. Try. Try to listen to it as loud as you can, but. Definitely in the kitchen. Um, you're no stranger to fame and celebrity before your music career took off. But now you're famous all over the world. Have you stopped to process that? What does that feel like? It's a good one, Amy. I like it. <laughs> what does that feel like? Uh, oh, see, you needed to stay so you could answer it. Answer as me. Answer as you? I will. Do you want me to do it as a joke or seriously? What do you guys want? Joke. 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 Well, <laughs> and, I'm, out. and I'm going with sincerity. <laughs> I've been, I'm Sabrina. I've been doing this for so long. Thank you, Sabrina. Yes. Been, no, I really am I'm Sabrina. And I know this, so I'm giving I'm sincerity. Um, I've been doing this for so long, and I've loved every moment of what I've done because they're documents of my, my time. And so it's just been this really long slow slow burn so I feel oddly comfortable because I love performing and I love touring and I love making music and it didn't happen overnight so I'm not really too freaked about some of the weird parts about being a public person so it's not a popular answer but I'm really pleased to be making my work and, and being on the stage well Sabrina <laughs> Oh, Sabrina, Sabrina, but that's, I think that's true, Sabrina, right? Sabrina, you, you don't have to talk. Yeah. Sabrina, I want to say, on behalf of all of us, yeah. we love you so much. Thanks, guys. I just want to say that. <laughs> Everyone say hi to Caleb Nelson. <laughs> My longtime pal. Um, we're going to start off with one that I think you know. It's called Feather. Yeah. Just to warm us up. Oh, it's like that. I'm your dream come true, and it's on a platter for you. Then you pull back when I try to make plans more than two hours in advance. Mm. Well, I slam the door, I hit ignore. I'm saying no, 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 no more. I got you back after this and after thought. Thank you for 
being nice. Um, and I, uh, I made this song in France. Like, what? Well, yes, that is the chorus. Um, I wrote this song and it's so, it's so interesting. It's just, um, you know, it's taken on a life of its own and memes of its own, but uh, if you know it, it's called Espresso. <laughs> Picture, you're on a beach. You're on a beach, you're not at the Grammy Museum right now, you're on a beach. And you're drinking espresso, essentially. But it's you espresso, it's not me espresso, this is you espresso. Yeah. So picture it in that way. And then, if you want to sing along. So we're gonna sing a song from the album. <laughs> and this one's cute, and I just like wanted to sing it for you today. Super random of me. So, um, so it's called Slim Pickens, and I hope you like it. <laughs> Guess I'll end this life alone. Dramatic. These are just the thoughts that pass right through me All the douchebags in my phone I play them like a slot machine If they're winning, I'm just losing Oh boy, who's checked in kind Can't find his Has to save my life Oh, it's slim pickings If I can't have the one it's you that I'll be kissing Just to get my fix And since the good ones are deceased or taken I'll just keep on moaning and bitching The one I love Guess it's you that I'll be kissing Just to get my fix And since the good ones are deceased or taken I'll just keep on moaning and bitching Morning, bitches. And since the good ones call their exes wasted, and since the Lord forgot my gay awakening, then I'll just be here in the kitchen serving up some morning. song. You heard this one, sorry. Um, uh, this is such a special song, and this was birthed on the, literally the first day we ever wrote together. I know I have good judgment. I know I have good taste. It's funny and it's ironic that only I feel that way. Oh, I'm asking, baby. Please, please. Please, please, please. 
Thank you for the Thank you for your Thank you for Thank you for Thank you for coming. Thanks for having us, y'all. She signed. <laughs> We made it to the billboard. Look how gorgeous. Oh, I can't zoom in, I'm on the side. Look how gorgeous she looks. Short and sweet. Out December 23rd. December. August. August 23rd, guys. I know the months. It's literally right there. Hey guys, so I forgot to finish off the vlog yesterday. So I just got home from work and I'm editing the vlog. So I thought, let me make an outro. Thanks so much for watching. Um. Just to clarify, the three, I said it in the vlog, like, oh, the first three rows were, like, taken by, like, executives and people who work in the music industry. That's what I meant by that. So, usually the, the Grammy Museum will have a couple seats reserved for whoever wants to see the artist, you know, an up-and-coming artist or, like, a establishment, whatever it is. But... For Sabrina, it was like three rows full of people. And it was either like a, a recording artist, like executive, and then their daughter, or just like a bunch of, it was like families. It was very interesting, but I had so much fun and I love seeing Sabrina and that was like my fifth time seeing her. I saw her at the Radio Disney Music Awards and the only song she performed was Thumbs. So yes, I have heard Thumbs live. And then I saw her on the emails I can't send tour part one and part two. And then I went to Jingle Ball and I saw her and now, Grammy Museum. I love this woman so much. I don't have tickets for short and sweet tour yet, but I will get them. I definitely am going to the forum. And yeah, thanks so much for watching my vlog. Like and subscribe. <laughs> oh my God, everyone do Everybody it Everybody like and subscribe. <laughs>